Brian Forster was recently back capturing footage at Machu Picchu. Shrouded in mist and mystery, a truly amazing place that is hard to reach, even today. The mountains possibly protecting the people from the synchrotron light that would have literally x-rayed a human being exposed to the extreme rays. And the conquistadors never reached Machu Picchu. Instead, it's thought the disease they brought to the continent reached the inhabitants here and they died off without ever having come into contact with them. Either that, or like the pyramids, this place is pre-cataclysm. A place of worship in the golden age of sun worship. But the fact remains, no one really knows why this was built, by whom, or when. And these perplexing questions are destined to never be properly answered due to the nature of existence at this place. But perhaps it was built for protection and to observe the happenings in the sky, a bunker of sorts. Perhaps there is a clue in the shrine dedicated to Pachacutec, who was the 9th century ruler of the Inca from the mid-1400s. An empire builder, Pachacutec initiated a series of conquests that would eventually see the Inca grow into a South American realm that stretched from Ecuador to Chile. And because of this, some think this was his abode, constructed in his honour, but this is entirely unclear. Wait till you hear this. 7,000 feet above sea level and nestled on a small hilltop between the Andean mountain range, the majestic city soars above the Urubamba Valley below. And this mysteriously built structure has been deemed a lost city, unknown until its recent discovery in 1911. And archaeologists have estimated that at least 1,200 people could have lived in this city area, although many have theorised that this was most likely a retreat for the Incan rulers due to its isolation from the rest of Peru. And living in this area full time would require travelling great distances just to reach the nearest village, separated into three areas, agricultural, urban and religious. The structures are arranged so that the function of the buildings matches the form of their surroundings. The agricultural terracing and aqueducts take advantage of the natural slopes. The lower areas contain buildings occupied by farmers and teachers, and the most important religious areas are located at the crest of the hill, overlooking the lush Urubamba Valley thousands of feet below, a place where observations could be made of the great god in the sky. At Machu Picchu, we are confronted by an echo from the past. This place was built for a reason long forgotten, not from protection from an invading army, but to do with the happenings in the sky and the organisation of the religious sanctuaries at the top of the city testifies to that. But what do you guys think about Machu Picchu? Comments below and thank you for watching. Therefore, this is the part of Machu Picchu that they found in ruins. And again, I don't think that Machu Picchu was constructed over 25 years. It's probably hundreds of years because of the scale of the complex. But here you see the basic difference. The Inca found these giant megalithic blocks, and then they decided to repair it by adding the smaller stones to the top part. You see the great difference between the giant stones on the bottom and the little ones on top. The rough work on the top, the very fine work on the bottom, and then here this is another part of the megalithic aspect of Machu Picchu. And there, again relatively crude Inca work. So what we can see is that a giant cataclysm struck Machu Picchu in the distant past before Inca times and pulled all of these stones apart. They used to fit perfectly together. As you can see, the incredible level of craftsmanship here as compared to the rough work above here. And now this is the inside of this interesting three-sided structure. It never appears to have had a fourth side. And here we see the cataclysmic damage. The right wall has sunken down by about two feet. That would require a huge earthquake. And now look at this very complex stone on the bottom. Look at the number of corners and the number of angles. I believe this stone on the bottom has approximately 22 angles and the other stones three-dimensionally interlock 
with it. That is an incredible achievement. 